spite of the first responders and the fact that a lot of the family members of the victims of 9-11 still have a majority of their questions unanswered. So what I'd like to present to you is a, it's a, actually a letter and information that uh, 15 of us presented to a federal judge um, last week. Where? Um, down here in, in, in uh, downtown LA, uh, uh, a Judge Wu. Um, and it has to do... And explain to me what the letter, what, what you're asking them to do. Okay. Well, it's, it has to do under the uh, uh, under Article Three, Section Three, of the Constitution defines treason as giving aid and uh, comfort to to uh, enemy. Uh -huh. So, and then you're familiar with the idea of misprision of treason. That if you know of uh, treason and you don't do anything about it, then um, then you have uh, some legal consequence to pay. So it has to do with that, the fact that we know that the cover-up of 9-11 is giving aid and comfort to what actually happened, even if we believe that 19 young men with box cutters stood down NORAD and the FBI and all that stuff. And so we, what we're trying to do is, is pressure both the judiciary and the Congress to act on this, you know, to clear it up. That's what we're worried about, is that even if we believe that 19 guys with box cutters could have stood down NORAD and the FBI, and you know, eliminated the steel core of the World Trade Center, and anthrax the leading sen you know senators in the Democratic senators. Even if we believe all that's true, the fact that millions of Americans don't think that's true and it hasn't been cleared up by the Congress in any meaningful way is giving aid and comfort to our enemies. So this letter has to do. I submitted a letter a year ago that just sort of said that the executive branch was was guilty of treason, and now what we're starting we, to we say. We know they are. You do? Well, I mean, you know. Hello? What does the Congress know about what's being covered up around 9-11? A lot of, well, I don't sit on, on, on uh, intelligence, so I can't tell you that. Uh-huh. And well, that's usually something that is reserved in, in only those that have super secure returns, which is the chair of the intelligence, and those that sit on it. <coughs> what we do know is that there were a lot of issues still in the minds of us in Congress, mm -hmm. uh, not only in the way that, that the response was, which we were not prepared for, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we were The response, you're saying? Response to the terrorist attack. Mm -hmm. um, a, a lot of other stuff that happened The uh, incarceration of the suspects. Uh, uh, the, uh, it, it, you know, we, we know very little, uh, especially stuff that's going on in Guantanamo. Uh -huh. uh, it, other than what we hear from our colleagues, and most of it is pretty well secured. If you right. Yeah, I understand that, but the thing is, a lot of the a lot of these facts are out in the open, such as the the war games and terror drills that were running on the morning of 9/11. You know, like when Condoleezza Rice and Bush said no one could have imagined this, and the National Reconnaissance Office is running a uh, plane crash into their building drill, and the Joint Chiefs of Staff are running drills of high life hijack drills. You know, so a lot of this is on the table. And I know, but but you understand yeah. when we go to Congress, I'm there for my constituency. I'm there for my issues. While I get involved in the others and I vote on things that uh -huh. are going to protect my, my general public, uh -huh. I don't get as involved in the technical issues because people that are doing that are the ones who've been sitting on there for years and understand what to ask and what to ask. I can understand that, but you took an you took an oath though to become a congressperson. I know I took an oath just to become a neighborhood councilman here in LA. And you took an oath to the Constitution, and if the Constitution and I, I is, and I don't hold it to the best of my ability. Right, that's that's fair. But it, what this letter and and I'll, I'll uh, you know. Okay. Well, that's, that okay. was what I was asking you. What what does it pretend to do, or what? ask them to do? And that's that's where I'm trying to get information from you. Right. Because I can take this to the chair of intelligence, who's a friend of mine. That would be so great, Mr. Reyes. But I don't know what I'm going to tell him, Mother. I'm not going to read this, I can tell you that, because okay. I've got stacks of stuff I waiting. I understand, yeah. So I'll, t I'll just briefly break it down to you. What this is, is it, 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 it shows the treason law and then the misprision of treason law, and that if you know as, as a, someone who owes allegiance to the United States of America of treason done to the United States, you're supposed to disclose it to a federal judge, to the president, or, or to... What, 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 what do you... Uh, I, I know that. What, what well, 
what we're saying, what I'm saying in here, and the reason I added, I added Nancy Pelosi's name to uh, Bush and Cheney's names this time around because of when she says that impeachment is off the table, she's basically saying I'm I'm willing to uh, be complicit with the criminal activity of the Bush administration, and a lot of this stuff is out in the. So what we are asking is we want we're demanding that the Congress uphold the Constitution by uh, at least starting impeachment and letting these facts get on the table. Because a lot of it is there. I mean, you all don't think that Al-Qaeda jihadis anthrax the Dash and Leahy, do you? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, that's pretty clear that that's not, you know, an Al-Qaeda jihadi. It came from a US weapons lab and, you know, it came at a time when they were talking about the unconstitutional nature of the Patriot Act. So, <laughs> So we're talking about the fundamental nature of, of what, what binds us as a nation of laws. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make okay. sure that, and I understand your point. You're getting technical, and in getting technical, okay. those are the issues that the Judiciary Committee, that the Intelligence Committee handle. Uh -huh. While we vote on things brought to us based on our constituency, and that's how we act. I understand that, but the last point I'll leave you with is that at the foundation of our government is the, is the division of, of, of power, right? And if you have an executive branch that is involved in a treasonous cover-up and the legislative branch will not act on it, the people are very limited in what we can do. That's what I'm saying, is that before you talk about policy that will benefit your constituency, you, we need to uphold the Constitution in a very basic way. Right. A lot of my constituency, they want that appeal. Okay, good. But they're more worried right now about the gas price and about the war and about other things. Right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. And remember that 9-11 was what set off the wars, too.